If you are self-employed in Germany, you are either working as a freelancer or commercially. That is also the first question you have to answer when starting up before registering anywhere. Commercial businesses not only pay sales and income tax, but also trade tax. At first glance, this does sound somewhat unfair. Why do commercial businesses have to pay the trade tax on top of everything else? How high is the tax burden actually? Who actually ends up paying more taxes or if anyone ends up paying more taxes at all? In this video, we will answer this question very precisely with specific examples. To determine who ultimately pays more taxes, I have generated an Excel spreadsheet for calculations. Let us begin by examining the amount of income tax that a freelancer in Germany actually pays. Here we look at the tax burden depending on the profit. So if you are a freelancer and don't make a profit, then you also, what a surprise, don't pay any taxes. And even if you make a profit of 10,000 euros, you don't pay taxes in Germany. Why is that? In Germany, we have a basic tax allowance of around 11,000 euros, meaning we can earn that amount before any tax is due. And yes, the 10k euros, they fall below these 11k euros. At 20k euros, you start to see taxes will need to be paid. That means with a profit of 20,000 euros, approximately 2,000 euros in taxes must be paid. That's about 10% and then it goes up to 100,000 euros profit. Then it's approximately 32,000 euros in income tax. That amounts to, surprise, surprise, 32%. With a profit of 150,000 euros, that would be 53,000 euros in taxes, approximately 35%. So this is the tax burden with income tax for freelancers. And of course, commercial businesses in Germany also pay income tax. But the crucial point is actually the trade tax. That's why let's first take a look at how trade tax is calculated for sole proprietorships in Germany. Freelancers don't pay this type of tax at all. That means they don't have to deal with this calculation at all. However, all commercial businesses are required to make the following calculation annually as part of the trade tax return process. For example, let's assume that my commercial business has generated a profit of 50,000 euros. And then the calculation starts with my profit from commercial business of 50,000 euros. As a sole proprietor, I have a tax allowance of 24,500 euros for basic tax purposes. I can deduct 24,500 euros from the 50,000 euros for now. Then there's a trade tax profit of 25,500 euros. I'll calculate this amount times 3.5%, which is 892.50 euros. This 3.5% is the trade tax assessment rate, which is regulated by law. And from this, a trade tax assessment amount of 892 euros results. And these 892 euros are the foundation. And then it really depends on which municipality I have registered my business in. Because the trade tax goes to the municipality where I have registered my business. And each municipality can set a tax rate for the trade tax. That means every municipality can determine the amount of trade tax they wish to impose. And this results in not having an equally high burden of trade tax everywhere in Germany, of course. In my calculation example, I am now assuming 400%. That's also a good average value that can be found in Germany. That means I calculate my 892 euros by multiplying it with 400% and then multiplying the result by four, which gives me a trade tax burden of 3,568 euros. As a business owner, I must pay 3,568 euros in trade tax with a 50K profit. 568 euros trade tax. And, and that sounds quite unfair when I have to pay around 3,500 euros in taxes here which freelancers don't have to pay. However, it is not quite as unfair as it seems because there is a specific provision outlined in section 35 of the Income Tax Act that is not very easy to understand. Hence, I'll attempt to explain this in a simple manner to clarify the content of paragraph 35 of the Income Tax Act. Because this paragraph is extremely important for all commercial businesses in Germany. It states exactly that the tariff income tax reduced by and so on is reduced to the extent that it proportionately applies to commercial income included in the taxable income maximum reduction amount. Firstly, for income from commercial businesses within the meaning of section 15 of the Income Tax Act by four times the tax assessment amount set for the company for the assessment period corresponding to the assessment period according to section 14 of the Trade Tax Act, Trade Tax Assessment Amount. 
That's an incredible amount of text and blah, blah. That's not really understandable for the average person. But what exactly does it say? We have the capability to decrease the income tax by up to an amount that is four times the assessment amount of the trade tax imposed. That means as a commercial business owner, even though I pay trade tax, I can actually reduce my income tax by up to four times the trade tax assessment amount. Now the question naturally arises, how much taxes will be left in the end? Do I as a commercial business owner have to pay more taxes? And as I mentioned previously, every municipality has the authority to establish its own trade tax rate. And it is always a percentage in hundreds. For example, 300%, 400%, 500% and so on. In my calculation example just now, I started with 400%. And 400% is four times as much. This means that if the trade tax base amount in your municipality is 400% or lower, you can actually offset the entire trade tax against your income tax. And as a commercial business owner, you end up not paying any more taxes in the end. And naturally, we will also examine a highly specific example for that. And for that, I will bring you back to my screen and demonstrate my calculation sheet. I have set up a few commercial businesses in addition to my freelance work. And first, let's take a look at a commercial business in Berlin. Here we can see the tax burden, once again the percentage burden, and here the additional burden that commercial businesses in Berlin then pay compared to freelancers. The structure is the same. Here we don't pay taxes at 0 and 10,000 euros. The crucial point is the tax-free allowance of 24,500 euros for trade tax. That means with 20,000 euros, commercial businesses also do not pay any trade tax, and of course, any unpaid trade tax cannot be offset against income tax. With a profit of 20,000 euros, you only pay income tax. The additional burden here is also 0%. But let's take a look at, for example, the 100,000 euros profit. Here, a freelancer pays 32,027 euros in taxes and a commercial business owner in Berlin pays 32,291 euros. That's 264 euros more in taxes. So we see that commercial businesses in Berlin actually pay more taxes than freelancers. However, that is not particularly high. Why is that? It is due to the trade tax rate. In Berlin, the tax rate is actually 410%. And 400% can be credited against the income tax. Thus, the actual additional tax burden is only 10% of the tax assessment amount. At least in Berlin. Let's take a look at another municipality that is a bit more expensive, namely Munich. Of course, there are no differences in the lower income bracket here. So from zero to 10,000 euros, you don't pay any taxes. And here in Munich, you also have the 24,500 euro allowance on trade tax because it is uniform across the country. The only difference is the tax rate in the municipalities, 490% in Munich. And in Munich, you have the option to offset 400%, which is equivalent to four times against the income tax. This means that the actual additional burden on commercial businesses in Munich is 90% of the tax assessment amount. How much is that in numbers? Let's check. Profit of 100,000 euros equals 2,378 euros. So that's definitely a tax amount that you'd probably prefer to have in your pocket at the end. That means in Munich, it actually makes a difference. However, what about in less expensive communities? As an illustration, I have selected Leverkusen. Leverkusen actually has a tax rate of only 250%. However, even in Leverkusen, commercial businesses can credit up to four times, that is 400% of the trade tax assessment amount against income tax. Only commercial businesses in Leverkusen never pay as much and therefore the additional burden for commercial businesses in Leverkusen is zero. That means in Leverkusen, commercial businesses actually don't pay any more taxes. In summary, one can say that the whole thing is somehow quite inconsistent and I cannot make a general statement because it actually varies from municipality to municipality. Also find this overview sheet linked below in the video description. Feel free to view it. And this is particularly exciting for the second rider because all municipalities are listed there with their respective population numbers and the trade tax multiplier. Important note, all up to date as of 2022. Therefore, generally recommend to simply Google the whole thing. That means you can easily just enter the trade tax rate for Berlin without any problems. And then Google usually displays it in the preview. Currently, 
it's at 410%. Of course, you can look up your municipality from this list and whenever the multiplier is below 400%, it means that as a commercial business owner, you don't pay any taxes in your municipality at all. This list includes 10,801 municipalities and a little spoiler. Out of these 10,801 municipalities, 9,717 municipalities actually fall below 400%. That means in 89% of the municipalities in Germany, commercial businesses don't pay a single cent more in taxes than freelancers. Maybe you wonder, are there patterns? Yes, I have a list of around 11,000 municipalities now. That's quite nice. But are there any patterns that one can recognize? Yes, there are. Let me now show you an interactive map here. You can also find them in the video description below. There you can see the respective multiplier rates. In general, it can be said that in large cities where there is a lot of infrastructure and where many self-employed individuals and commercial businesses want to settle, the multiplier rates tend to be higher. In rural areas, the tax rate tends to be lower. And on this map, it can also be seen that the tax rates in Western Germany and generally in Central Germany are higher than in the East, North and South. This has various reasons, as the municipalities are indeed in competition with each other due to the different tax rates. Here, for instance, in the middle, you can see a high spot, and that's Leverkusen, an example, with a tax rate of only 250% because for commercial enterprises, it may now be more financially appealing to establish themselves in Leverkusen than, for example, in Cologne, which is located right next to it, because Cologne simply has higher trade tax rates. Let's get to the conclusion of this video. In summary, it can be said that in 89% of the municipalities in Germany, commercial businesses do not pay any more taxes than freelancers, even though they have an additional type of tax namely the trade tax. But what they pay in trade tax can be offset one to one against income tax. In about 11% of the towns, commercial businesses actually end up paying more taxes overall. But in reality, the entire thing is not exceedingly high. Therefore, the disparity is not substantial at the moment unless the tax rate is actually greater than 450%. For example, in Munich, it is quite significant, and as a commercial business owner, one might consider registering their business in the surrounding areas of Munich to benefit from a lower trade tax rate. But commercial businesses have a few other downsides that, in my view, ultimately become even more important. Specifically, the required membership in the Chamber of Industry and Commerce or preparing financial statements from 60k euros annual profit the other bureaucratic obligations that only commercial businesses have and freelancers are exempt from, in my opinion, actually weigh heavier than the actual tax burden. And finally, maybe a few personal words in my assessment. Honestly, I find it absurd to even make a distinction among sole proprietors. We see that commercial businesses don't actually pay more taxes, but they have to file a complete separate tax return. This is bureaucracy, this is work, possibly cost for the tax advisor, but also cost for the state. In almost 90% of the municipalities, the government doesn't earn a single cent more. But these tax returns also need to be processed internally. That's why I would argue that in 90% of municipalities, at least for sole proprietorships, trade tax actually incurs more costs than it generates income. And that is the main reason behind my strong belief that trade tax should be entirely abolished for sole proprietorships. Why these two class societies? and why burden the commercial businesses with any political differences between municipalities and federal and state governments? Because that's why this occurs. The trade tax is municipalities' primary income source. Due to disagreement, German commercial businesses suffer as municipalities, states and federal government cannot reach an agreement. I hope that with this video, I answered your question and shed light on the tax jungle. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment below this video and I will gladly try to help you. And if you say that you would like to have a competent companion in this jungle or that you might have some smart tools at hand to make it a bit more bearable, then be sure to check out my recommendations. Find it below in the video description, happy to link it, but also here once. Check out other videos on this channel, for example, this one or this one. 